Spam is 19 weeks old and the most striking thing about her right now is that her teeth are falling out. So she's not tugging as well as she used to and I have to do more chase and less tug with her. This was her first weekend away from home and she's been such a good puppy. I'm really, really happy with how she's able to be in the arena when an agility seminar is happening, able to work with other dogs around her and just be a very well-behaved puppy. Before we went to the seminar, I had one goal, and that was to pick up some of our rear end awareness work and get some fluency on the platform so that I could fade it. I actually haven't trained on her rear end awareness work since the seminar I gave in December, because I left the platform in the car and then it just didn't happen. So I decided it was time to teach her to come to heel on both my left and my right side. So we had a few sessions and she does have some trouble switching from her left to her right side. So in the beginning of this session, she was thinking about the other side and then we finally got some fluency and then going back to the right side was hard as well. So that's something we need more work on, but she's really starting to understand that she has to move different ways depending on which side of me she's on. Just took her a while to figure it out. Working on rear end awareness was a very good choice for working in a busy seminar environment. The platform and the rear end awareness work makes it easy for me to adjust my criteria depending on her focus and also gives me plenty of opportunity to reinforce even the slightest good decision. As you can see, we had to start fairly easy in a new environment. And this was also going back to her left side after working on her right side for a bit. So she quickly caught on and she didn't have much trouble working with other people running agility in the same arena. She did actually have more problems the second day when she was more turned on to watching dogs run. But I think she did a really, really good job of staying focused and working with me. And we did make some big progressions on her rear end awareness work during the weekend. Taking play breaks is a really good idea when working in an environment that is difficult for the puppy. It gives her a way to channel her energy and regain some focus, while I get the chance to pick new treats to my hand so that I'm not busy picking treats out of my pocket while working with her. One of the things that has been easier for her is when I keep food in the hand closest to her. It gives her something to focus on and has made rear end awareness work easier. So one of the big progressions that I've tried to work on is keeping food in my other hand and then switching to the hand closest to her to reward. This makes it harder for her, but she is starting to get it. If I need to help her more, it always helps to keep food in the hand closest to her. At the end of the first day, when we were just playing around while rebuilding the course, I actually tried to do some rear end awareness work without the platform, and she did great! This is something that I've tried before, but she didn't get it at all. 
But with all the work that we put into the platform in this week, she actually started doing it. It's not perfect, but she is getting the idea, and that makes me really happy. I brought a raised dog bed for her to stay on at the seminar. She hasn't been on it before, but she quickly understood that it was just like the pillow or the crate at home, and she enjoyed staying on it. We started with some play and just shaping her onto the platform and using my release word, which is fri, to bring her off it. And I think she enjoyed the game. I started with play and a high rate of reinforcement to get her to understand the platform, but once she understand that this was a station to stay at, I tried to get a more relaxed attitude while watching agility. I would sit down and just keep half an eye on her and reward her for good choices like lying down and looking relaxed. I think she did great and she was able to lie there for long periods of time and I almost forgot about her because she was doing so well. So I'm really happy about that and I hope that she can keep her cool attitude while watching others do agility. I often get asked if it's possible to reward relaxed behavior with treats, if that doesn't just get the dog excited and ready to work. My experience is that it works really, really well, but you need to have good timing, which means that you need to reward behaviors that look relaxed, and you need to have time. You need to have patience and do these things for an extended period of time so that they can actually start to relax. I do this around the house, or when I'm teaching a seminar, or just when things are pretty slow and I have a good amount of time to just spend watching something and usually it ends up with the puppy falling asleep. We didn't quite get there in this seminar but she was doing great although in this second day she was fairly interested in other dogs running but she's interested in a very calm and quiet way which is okay for me. I would want her to fall asleep but it's okay for for me if she likes to watch as long as she's quiet and relaxed. I also have to mention how very well she did staying at a bed and breakfast for the weekend. We spent two nights there. I had brought a crate in case I needed to confine her, but she was so good. She slept most of the time. She only played with her own toys and there was absolutely no problem having her in a new place with two of my other dogs. So I'm really, really happy about that and I'm looking forward to lots of trips together with her in the future. And I keep you in my heart And my heart is where you are I still think of you I want you coming back I remember when we were staring at a photo Don't forget the way you look me in the eyes And I keep you in my heart And my heart is where you are I still 
think of you.